YouTube, this is SJM4306, back with another review video. This time, I was sent something by a company called Vava, and they actually have a Kickstarter going currently. I'll have the links down below for this. And as you can see, this is a fancy schmancy solid state drive. And here we go. Just get this uh, zoomed in. Very nice packaging. Very nice packaging. So right now, I have the, um, the blue 512 gigabyte version. And it comes in two colors, so it comes in like a space gray, which is kind of like a metallic kind of darker gray color, and then cobalt blue, which is, I think, the one that looks nicer in my opinion. So very glad that I got that one. And um, it only weighs one and a half ounces, has USB 3.1 Gen 2, so pretty high speed uh, data transfer rates if you have a USB 3 port that this is plugged into. And it uses a Type-C connector on it. And uh, let's see, read speeds up to 540 megs, uh, write speed 480. So this is pretty decently fast for like a pen drive size portable SSD. And there is one main feature that kind of sets it apart. And I guess I'll before telling you about it, I'll just pop this open and uh, show you guys. So this is drive itself. And wow, <laughs> already got fingerprints on the bottom there. But yeah, this is very pretty. Very well made. Uh, you might be wondering what this square is. It's actually a fingerprint reader. So this actually has encryption and um, it's fingerprint uh, protected basically. And you can store up to, I believe, 10 different uh, people's fingerprints. And it's AES 256 uh, bit encryption. So yeah, this is not gonna be something that anyone can crack without having the right fingerprint. So that's really cool. Now it has a separate like Windows program uh, that I'm going to have to install in order to set up the fingerprint uh, detection. But yeah, you can see the back here is a very shiny, kind of almost feels like glass. It, it feels very similar to the back of like a Samsung smartphone. So yeah, not sure if this is glass or some kind of acrylic, but it is a fingerprint magnet just touching after a few seconds. Um, got a lot of fingerprints on it now. But yeah, the front, I love this. It's like a matte aluminum i believe or magnesium sounds like aluminum um brushed metal like this blue color is awesome so yeah on the end we have the type c connector it has a uh, blue and red indicator lights to show you uh, the state whether it's locked or unlocked and transfer progress as well and yeah so these currently retail, so this is the 512 gig version that retails for $99.99. The one terabyte version uh, retails for $169.99. And there is a, a top of the line two terabyte model, and that is $299.99. So actually kind of reasonably priced for, for a product of this um, this quality and capacity. So it's, it's pretty in line with other SSDs. So definitely they got the pricing right, I believe. And in this, part we should have our cables and this does come with a type c to type c which i'm very happy to see so i can plug this straight into my um what i'm actually filming on right now my um samsung galaxy s8 plus so i can use this to actually back up and this is something that i've been needing for a while um i have a 400 uh, gigabyte at, uh, micro sd card in my phone right now and I film a lot of video, you know, usually at like 1080p, 60 frames per second. And it it eats up a lot of memory. That in addition to like my full music library on here. And I'm constantly having to erase stuff and move stuff around to, to film new videos, which is kind of a pain. And so it's actually easier to be able to plug in an external SSD, transfer my video files to here for editing. So then I can just take this to my uh, laptop. And it also does come with a type C to type A adapter. So you can plug this into any computer as well. Very nice um, like velveteen travel case. And so this will fit very nicely along with the cables inside. Really like them. There's even, if you look inside, there's even separate pockets so that you don't scratch the, uh, the SSD. So you can put the cables in one side and the SSD in the other. Very glad that they uh, include that in the packaging. But yeah, you can see it's absolutely stunning. So I mean, SSDs are great to look at, but where they really get their use is, uh, you know, let's 
plug this guy in and uh, see the performance. I, I'm especially interested to see how easy it is to use the fingerprint sensor software and how to set that all up and how well that works. So give me a sec and I'll get everything set up on my laptop and film from there. Okay, and uh, if we open up the drive, it just uh, pretty much pops up. It's a mass storage device, obviously. So of the 512 gigabytes, there's a little bit taken up in terms of like the formatting. And um, so we get uh, 476 gigs free. And on the drive itself, it'll work with both Mac and Windows. There's actually the program that you need to set up. So that's really cool that you don't have to download anything. It's right on the drive. And just give it permission. And I'm just going to go through and set this all up. So anyway, um, here you can see 51.75 megs used of the total capacity. Um, let's go, let's see. Let's see what options we actually have. About Us, Warranty, Version, Normal Mode. I'm guessing this is eject and obviously minimize or exit out. Let's go into Settings. And so, okay, we do want to, so it comes with Security Mode disabled by default. I do want to set up fingerprint scanning though. So I'm going to set a password. I'm going to stop recording now so you guys don't see my password, obviously. Not that it really matters, but... Anyway, I'll get back to after this screen. Okay, I entered my password. Now, it's asking me to enter my password. Okay, and looks like we're back in. So, okay, now security mode is enabled. Fingerprint unlock, so manage fingerprint. So we're gonna hit that. It's gonna uh, prompt us for the password yet again. Okay. So now we are able to log a fingerprint and I'm just gonna get this in frame as well. So we're gonna do add a fingerprint, get started. Please be aware you cannot edit security mode options using your fingerprint. So you still need to remember your password. So make sure you write it down or note it down or memorize it. <laughs> it's one thing that you will definitely need. So it says, lift your finger Your finger so what what it's doing is what a lot of uh, smartphones do now is uh, ask you to do it a couple times so it can get a better picture of your whole finger and it asks you to move around your finger and make sure you get the edges so okay I added my thumb so let's see if we go back exit exit so it does look like maybe there's a bug. I, I have a feeling this is supposed to have some text on it. <laughs> so right now it should be locked out. So maybe I have to actually disconnect it. Okay. Okay, yeah, it worked. <laughs> I just held my finger on there and it pops right up. So yeah, I'm able to access the drive now. You can see it's blinking. Um, so let's give that one more try. So it's just kind of pulsating and it says encrypt. And there we go. So it is interesting. It does look like it does pop up um, even when it's in kind of the locked or encrypted state. Um, but I'll have to see if you can actually see the files. You shouldn't be able to. Uh, so I'm going to dump a couple files on here, transfer some video files. Uh, we'll see how fast the transfer speeds are. And just from sitting here, this actually does get slightly warm. Um, and the casing does actually feel warm, so I'm guessing that it is actually transferring heat um, into the casing and then obviously um, kind of through convection through the air. So yeah, let me uh, transfer some files and um, let's see how that goes.
Okay, so here we are. I have the drive just sitting here. And I just created some folders inside and we're just gonna copy and paste. And wow. Okay, so yeah, we're getting a steady 340, about 350 megs per second and it's actually increasing. And I'm transferring you know, a fairly large amount of uh, data, like what was it, um, five or six gigs. And there we go. It's going. <laughs> That's pretty darn fast. And you can see it's blinking. Yeah, and let's just see. Oh yeah, that was actually uh, three files, 10 gigabytes on the dot. Wow, <laughs> did not time that out perfectly, but it worked out. So 10 gigs took me, I don't know, that was probably like 15, 20 seconds, something like that. That's that's impressive. So yeah, definitely the, um, and that was a write speed. Read speed will actually be a little bit faster than that. I think they rated it at like, what, just under 500 uh, megs per second or something like that, which is really super impressive. So this uh, with a USB 3 connection, obviously, if you plug this into a 2.0 um, port, it'll uh, default to 2.0 speeds, unfortunately. But um, yeah, if you have a 3.0 port, um, this is really speedy. I'm really impressed with the speed on this. And one thing I forgot to mention is the, all the cords come with these little like rubber, nice rubber bands for keeping them tied up. So that's really nice as well. So yeah, and it's just a little warm to the touch. That's it. It's <laughs> actually what I'm going to do. You guys won't see the difference, but I'm actually going to stick the video files that I'm filming right now onto this drive, edit from the drive, and um, see how that works because that that'll actually be a testament. Um, usually I have to transfer to the internal SSD on this laptop to do editing at a reasonable speed. Even 3.0 drives that I've tried in the past, trying to edit from them, just there's just too much latency. So I actually want to see if this guy can be used for, um, you know, editing on the fly directly from the drive, which is really cool. So yeah, anyway, uh, these files are all on here. These are past or future videos. And if we just go back out... Yeah, 466 out of um, 476, so yeah, 10 gigs used. <laughs> Barely a drop in the bucket. See that little sliver there. So yeah, actually, this this works really well. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy about this. Now let's see, I'm going to eject this. Okay, let's see, I ejected this, I removed the cord. Let's see if we can actually view the files. We shouldn't be able to, um, because I haven't entered my fingerprint. And it should be encrypted, and no, you can only see the installation folders. And it says, yeah, it's disconnected. Um, one thing that it's not a problem with their software, it's actually my laptop. I have a 4K screen on this laptop, and everything that I open uh, is like tiny because it assumes that I'm, um, it assumes that I have like a 1080p screen. So everything is like a quarter the size by default. <laughs> Which is really annoying. That that's more of an issue with with Dell. I think um, it would be nice if they were you know defaulted to higher res or you know the higher resolution expanding things. Anyway, let's actually just fingerprint this, and it should open. Here we go. I can see my files again. So yeah, works exactly as I'd expect. So yeah, it's really nice having encrypt encrypted. Um, my fingerprint that's really cool I don't have to enter a password every time now and um, this this is pretty damn speedy I'm um, really impressed that 10 gig files uh, three files at 10 gigs only took like not even half a minute that's crazy so yeah this actually I think this would be good to um, like for SSD gaming I only have a 512 gig uh, SSD in this laptop and my game library is you know a lot larger than that and and I don't really have room to store games on here so I've been actually using a mechanical hard drive uh, to store my games but this guy is actually a lot speedier than that and so it's really cool I'm, I'm really digging the uh, the blue color is really nice so yeah you wouldn't believe it my phone ran out of memory while filming I had to stop and uh, transfer it to this drive. So right now this drive contains everything up to this point that I filmed on this. <laughs> so kind of ironic. So I, I just wanted to see what if I try to do the wrong fingerprint. 
Yeah, there you go. Okay, so if you try to scan the wrong fingerprint, it'll light up red. And when it's just kind of pulsing like this or the light's off, that means it's not, um, it's not unlocked. So, there we go. So yeah, they must be using like a capacitive fingerprint sensor. It's something similar to what uh, modern smartphones use um, for sensing your fingerprints. So it's really thin, obviously, the sensor itself. So yeah, one thing, cool thing that I noticed is if you flip the, um, the logo upside down, it still says the same thing. So that's actually pretty cool. So yeah, it just turns off, I guess, after a little while. Um, but yeah, super huge thanks to uh, Vava for sending this in for a review. This is something that I will 100% be using, um, especially with video editing stuff. Um, 1080p, 60fps video takes up quite a lot of memory. And this is actually really cool that this has the bandwidth that I can plug it straight into my laptop and edit from the drive so I don't have to keep transferring files back and forth. Something that was really irritating um, with my workflow. So this will help immensely. And I really love this blue color as well. So yeah, uh, packaging, awesome. Accessories, uh, really happy that it comes with both the double-ended Type-C connector as well as just a standard Type-C to Type-A. The little velveteen pouch is I would say this is invaluable. I will, it will live in here um, so that it doesn't get scratched up. I love the size. Uh, even transferring, you know, 10 gigs barely gets warm. It, it, it gets a little warm just plugging it in. Uh, not hot or anything, but even after transferring uh, a couple files, like 10 or 20 uh, gigs from my phone, it barely got any warmer. So that's definitely a good sign. I think they chose a, um, you know, this metal as the exterior is a good choice for, uh, you know, keeping the drive from cooking itself to death. Uh, time will tell in terms of how, how you know, well, um, how scratchless this case gets. Uh, I assume, yeah, we're going to need to keep it in this little pouch. So yeah, overall, super happy with this. And I think at the price point of $99.99 for the 512 gig version, that's actually in line with a lot of other uh, com competing SSDs that don't have security. They don't have fingerprint uh, um, encryption. Um, the build quality on those are quite a bit cheaper. It just for example, this is a, um, a Seagate that I bought a little while ago, and I think I paid... Maybe a little less, maybe like 80 or $90. This is also, this is 500 gigabytes, it's not even 512. So it's a little smaller capacity and it uses legacy, um, basically uh, USB micro, uh, you know, 3.0 connector. It's a legacy connector. Uh, it's a pain, the cable's huge. Uh, there's no indicator to show you that anything's transferring, which always pissed me off. Uh, there's a power indicator, but it's just always on and no security uh, built in. You can obviously password protect your files and stuff, but I really like that the security is integrated into the hardware, the device itself. It's not relying on external software for the, uh, the Vava. That's really cool. So yeah, uh, in terms of cost or pricing, uh, even though this uh, costs a little bit more than I believe I paid for this uh, a couple months ago, I think that this is a better deal in terms of what you're getting and the speed definitely, um, the transfer speeds on these, even though it's USB 3, they're pretty slow. I, I, I haven't topped like 50 megs per second on this guy. Whereas this guy could easily, it was easily pulling down like 350 to 400 megs per second uh, in the testing that I did. And that those are write speeds, not just read speeds. Read speeds are gonna be a good 100 megs uh, higher than that, which is absolutely insane, I love it. So anyway, yeah, um, if you guys are interested, I will have the, um, the Kickstarter page linked below. Um, not sure when these exactly go on sale, uh, but all that information will be posted in the description. So yeah, anyway, uh, this was a really cool video to make actually, and something very timely and something I can, I can use um, pretty much every day. So huge thanks to Vava for sending this in for review, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.